Hi everyone, this is Dr. Aaron McGuffin, and today's video for board preparation for level one is going to cover one of our bugs, Actinomyces israeli. And as always in our videos, we're gonna tell you what you need to know to do well on boards anytime you encounter this particular organism. So when you're starting with these bugs, and you're starting to learn these things, what's important as far as boards go is to know, well, what do I need to know about this specific bug specifically for boards? And as you're preparing, you wanna make sure that you can make connections. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that we can categorize this bacteria. And the first thing, of course, as we know, is it's a gram-positive bacteria. And, of course, we remember that it's gram-positive because it has a, a thick peptidoglycan wall that will retain that crystal violet dye, okay, as opposed to our gram negatives. Now, as you remember from your classification of your gram positives, when the test question says it's a gram positive, you've really got three main groups that this could possibly be going into. One is your rods. The other major one is going to be your cocci. And our group for today, which specifically involves Actinomyces is going to be filamentous that are branching that are sometimes described as fungi like. So, as you're learning your bugs, these are the first steps that we're going to take is what are we dealing with? A rod, a cocci, or this filamentous. Now, in board questions, there are typically only two main divisions here that we have to go through from this branch. And the first is gonna be, does the question say it's an aerobic filamentous structure? Because if it's aerobic, then the main bug that it's gonna tell you that it is, it's gonna be, that's gonna tell you that we're dealing with nocardia, okay? And the opposite of that is gonna be what we're dealing with today, which is the anaerobic filamentous bug which of course is our actinomyces. So by those uh, differentiators, you can tell these are the two main filamentous branching gram positives they can ask you about on boards. So we're gonna take this another couple steps. So one of the things that differentiates nocardia from actinomyces, if they didn't happen to tell you whether it's aerobic or anaerobic, is whether there is an acid fast response. So nocardia will be acid fast. Now it says weak normally, but acid fast is acid fast. As opposed to actinomyces, which is not acid fast. And as a reminder from our basic science, what do we mean when we talk about acid fast? And if you remember, there's a carbol fusion dye uh, sometimes referred to as the zeal uh, nissen um, stain. And during that process, you get the stain and then you decolorize it and then you see whether or not that the stain, the acid, held fast and stayed there, or in this case, it did not hold fast. And so during that decolorization, all of that color went away and so that's why it's called acid fast. Okay, um, and so that's gonna be one of the biggest differentiators that they didn't tell you whether it's aerobic or anaerobic. So the next thing is what other characteristics do you need to know about actinomyces to answer board questions about it, okay? So some of the other things to, to remember is that it is a normal flora, okay? It can be found in the mouth, it can be found in the GI tract, which of course uh, the mouth would be part of that or it can also be part of the reproductive tract. And the part of the history that is very specific to this bug is they talk about a trip to the dentist or some form of maxillofacial trauma. The third thing is they mention the patient has an intrauterine device and what they're going to tell you, and this is super key with this particular organism, is that there is the presence of some sort of yellow 
granules or some sort of purulent material that is coming from a wound or part of the area of this of the relevant anatomy, whether it's the jaw. And as a result of this color, a lot of times they'll refer to it as sulfur granules, okay? Now there's not truly sulfur in this, but that is what it's likened to as a result of that. And these things are gonna be what is gonna make this a very uh, unique piece of uh, getting to the point where this is actinomyces. And really the final step in uh, knowing everything you really need to know about this bug is, well, how do we treat this, okay? And so the answer to that is gonna be penicillin. Penicillin, obviously a very important drug, as well as lots of um, different spinoffs of penicillin. And let's go through a couple of the things that are important to know about this. And again, one of the main things is the mechanism of action of how this works. Diala, diala, as you recall, uh, is what the analog of penicillin is. And that analog, um, helps it to bind penicillin binding proteins in the bacteria. Now, penicillin binding proteins are also transpeptidases. And those transpeptidases, as you'll remember, are part of the uh, enzymes that help to put the building blocks together of this cell wall. And so what penicillin comes in, uh, does is it comes in, it asserts itself and says, we're not gonna allow this to happen. And so now you have a bacteria whose cell wall can't be appropriately constructed. As a result of that, uh, the cell cannot function appropriately, contents are gonna leak out, and you achieve what you wanted to achieve, which was to kill the organism. In this case, penicillin uh, to treat uh, the actinomyces Israeli. So, um, just remember, dentist, maxillofacial, or an IUD, you've got trauma, or you have something that's very similar to a pelvic inflammatory disease picture. Penicillin is gonna be your treatment based on the fact that most likely you're dealing with actinomyces Israeli. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video on how to answer any question you come across that may involve actinomyces Israeli. Be sure to check out our website where you can find over 2,000 practice questions as well as over 4,000 additional topics uh, just like this that will help you get prepared for your board exams.